Hi, um, my name is Sada Rodokova. Um, I'm doing biological sciences and I'm doing the integrated master's degree um, and I'm specialising in computational biology. Um, there were a lot of factors. I think one of them was definitely the location. I was excited to study in London, and then not just in London, but in the heart of London. Uh, that was a big factor for me. And I was also excited about the research that's being done here. Um, I, knew, I knew that UCL was big and that I find a niche that's interesting for me. Um, that was a big factor because I didn't exactly know what I'd be doing, um, but I knew that I'd get a breadth of choice if I came here. So the biological sciences course is a broader course where you get plenty of choice, like I said before as well, um, and that is a an opportunity to find out what it is about biology that um, is interesting to you. So I actually had a bit of a journey on my degree. I started out um, the, um, from the cell biology route and then I switched to the computational one. Um, and I really appreciated that the degree could challenge me in that way, but also permit me to sort of explore new areas that, um, and new skills that I'd be interested in pursuing. It's a, UCL is a big place, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a challenge to even discover all the places that are available to our students. I find that students cluster in the student centre most often, but um, there are spaces that are available to my degree in particular, like the anatomy hub, um, which I greatly enjoy because it's a space where you can socialise with your course mates. Um, and I think UCL continuously tries to make new spaces for students to um, study and socialise in, and I appreciate that as well. <laughs> so I did both external and internal things um, throughout my degree. Um, I think in the first year when COVID began, so for me that was the three when COVID began, I found out that I had too much time on my hands and not much to do, so I reached out to one of my professors who's lecturing that I'd enjoyed and I asked to do something just to learn something hands-on. Um, and I remember that that's very, very responsive and I ended up um, gaining loads of skills while being locked up indoors. In my second year I tried to branch out and um, I had an external internship. Um, I was really happy with the internship I was able to get. It was remote but it was external. It was at the Big Data Institute in Oxford um, and I found that I made some valuable external connections um, but I re realised that it was my um, degree at UCL that helped me get there and so it felt like a nice sort of stepping stone to reach out to other places. And in my third year I did um, an internship that started out from UCL but ended up being external because I again reached out to one of the lecturers whose lecture I really enjoyed and um, she was kind enough to uh, help me apply for some funding and that funding together and I had a brilliant um, experience outside but inside UCL. <laughs> I would probably recommend it because of the great amount of support you get from um, the staff who are involved in um, your education, whether it's lecturers, um, tutors, administrative staff. I felt that I wasn't just doing a degree in, in, and I was just nobody while doing my degree. I felt like I was an individual um, and I made lots of valuable connections both with my course mates and with the staff who get through the process um, and I think that that's not something every university can say they offer.